Hi everybody, it's James here at Centurion Running. I hope you're well. This is hopefully the last race update video we need to make for 2021 and hopefully ever. Um, obviously, we've been trying to keep you guys updated as to the, the, the changing situation with regards to getting our race season underway again. Um, if you're here for the headline, it's that uh, races will commence from the 17th of April and our South Downs Way 50. Um, all other scheduled race dates are as they were for now. Um, hopefully nothing else needs to get moved. The only thing that would precipitate a move is um, the government changing the roadmap timings for coming out of lockdown or a major landowner having uh, quite a significant change of um, heart or plans around having events this year. Neither of those are expected at this time. So rewinding backwards a minute to 22nd of February, we found out we could restart races from tomorrow, the 29th of March. But it's taken until the day before that to get clarity on what the detailed guidelines are under which we can proceed with events. So we've been able to confirm races are back on. However, we've not been able to, to plan um, for some of the guidance that could have come out that could have stopped events from going ahead. So obviously using common sense, we've written our race plans, safety of overviews, COVID protocols, risk assessments, all based off of the autumn 2020 season that we held where we had five events. And fortunately for us, um, we've worked with our landlords and um, other partners for a long time now. They've, they were all happy to extend permission to us to proceed with our dates, um, given the protocols we have in place, if the guidelines could be met once they came out. Those guidelines are now out. We can meet them. They are almost identical to 2020 as expected, and therefore we are 100% ready to proceed. Everything is in place for us to be able to proceed with the events as planned. Now, I'm just going to speak briefly to the COVID protocols that are going to be required at the first five races and why we're looking at those differently to Wendover Woods 100 onwards. Um, the COVID protocols that will be in place will um, also replicate the autumn 2020 season. So those of you that race with us or watch the events taking place last autumn will be familiar with what things look like. During phase two of the roadmap, which is April 12th to April 16th, we have the South Downs Way 50, the Track 100 and the Thames Path 100. Some of the overriding protocols that we'll have in place for those races include time trial, rolling starts, um, sanitization use in and out of each checkpoint, social distancing at all stages, use of masks, unless you've got an exemption, uh, outdoor and indoor um, checkpoints, basically all those things that you'd expect to see from a, a, an event that still needs to be COVID secure, okay? Now, if you're wondering, you know, what's changed, the answer is nothing. Um, we've had COVID tabs on the website for each of these events for quite some time now. And the details that I'm just discussing here are on those COVID tabs and they're unchanged. So if you've been planning uh, and reading the website and basing your plans off the website, there is no difference. Um, if I could just highlight during that phase two, um, the first three events of the season, you can stay away from home overnight in England, but it can't be in a hotel. So that's the one area of issue that I know some runners have struggled with a little bit. Um, and we, most of you have found a workaround either by having a crew or a family member drop you and pick you up at the end uh, or by arranging to drive yourself um, to the start and then arranging different transport from the end, that kind of thing to get away from the need to stay overnight in a hotel. You can still stay in self-catered accommodation, so Airbnb style venues, but you, we know that that's not necessarily the cheapest or the easiest thing to do. So. We appreciate you sticking with us and trying to find a solution as best that we are right now for those first three events. For the North Downs Way 50 and the South Downs Way 100, uh, accommodation rules are removed, so you can then stay in hotels again. We will still have the COVID secure protocols in place. So time trial starts, um, sanitization at checkpoints, social distancing, mask use, that kind of thing. From Wendover Woods 100 onwards, we're the other side at that point of the government um, 
mandate, not mandate, but government suggestion that all restrictions could be removed by the 21st of June. If that's the case, we will return to mass starts. Now, technically, we can uh, have mass starts for these first five events, and we are going to do it at the track 100 because there's only going to be about 16 or 17 runners. The problem with mass starts at ultra distance events like ours are that you would end up with absolutely massive congestion at the first several checkpoints. So we could start you all together, socially distanced, either in waves or um, you know in one big group, uh, would be a challenge, but but viable. Immediately you hit a section of fairly narrow trail and social distancing becomes impossible and members of the public feel that they're being barged off the trail. That's not sustainable. And then when you arrived at checkpoint one, given that runners are still filling their own bottles, taking their own food, sanitizing in and out of the checkpoint, you're looking at between 90 seconds and two minutes per runner on average. You could easily have 30 to 60 minutes of queue coming into those first several checkpoints. That's not viable and it's not fair on uh, runners who are going to arrive towards the middle or back of the pack. Um, that's why we're not going back to mass starts at this point. If you've entered other road events or smaller trail events where they don't have checkpoints or such a reliance on self-sufficiency, you'll find that mass starts are permitted um, because there's no checkpoint to, to create cause that issue. So just a little bit of an explanation as to why we're continuing with the time trial style starts for now. It obviously also helps us spread the route, spread runners as far as possible down the route, alleviates congestion at the start and at the finish. So that's it. That's the summary for now. Is hopefully all good news. Um, I know some of you don't want to race with the COVID protocols in place, and I totally understand that. But let's be totally honest. If you don't want to race with COVID protocols in place, I don't think you're going to get a race away, certainly this side of the summer. And um, we, we obviously, there's still a huge amount of uncertainty about what the summer will look like. If I could just touch on two further issues. One is travel. So um, the rules apply to runners traveling from within England for this phase two, okay? So as far as the Thames Path 100, if you're coming from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, anywhere else in the EU, Europe, or further afield, um, the chances are you won't be able to come to race and um, you can email us and we'll discuss options with you. That's not your fault, it's not something you can control. Uh, travel within England is permitted and you are, it literally says on the guidelines that you can travel to take part in events. So that's fine. Um, with regards to uh, just the, um, I think that's probably it, sorry. I had one more thing to mention, but I've, it's briefly passed out of my mind. If, it, if I've forgotten anything, I'll put it down in the notes underneath this video so that you guys can pick up on, on anything that I have forgotten. There's a lot to remember. Um, so thanks to you all um, for bearing with us, persevering through another shocking uh, period of time whilst we've been doing lockdown here in England. Um, we aim to provide maximum safety and sustainability for these events. So that's why we've we've waited to announce that we could proceed. Um, thank you all so much for being with us once again. And we very much look forward to welcoming you all back uh, from the 17th of April and seeing you all over the spring. Take it easy. Thanks, guys.